Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you that are returning, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Um, and for those that are new, hi, my name's Rosie. I generally upload a couple of times a week. Um, usually, I'm going to say hauls, lifestyle, that kind of content. Um, the video you're about to see is a pack with me video because um, we're going on holiday on well, I'll get, I'll get further into that in the video. Um, so, I know it's a little bit premature, but if you like the video that you're about to see, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, relatively new channel. Just trying to, obviously, grow my YouTube um, family. So, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, yeah, as I said, trying to just see how far this takes me. Um... Currently just over 500 currently just over 500 subscribers at the moment. So for everybody that's already subscribed, thank you so much. Um, I couldn't do it without yours. And as I said, for those that haven't, what are you waiting for? Don't forget to press the notification button as well, um, because that'll obviously let you know when I upload. So, anyways, I'm gonna shut up now, um, and we're just gonna get into the video. So, as I said, we're going on holiday. <laughs> Um, this is the first time I've done a video like this so please bear with me and if I make a hash of it then yeah um, please be kind so obviously I'm not going to keep you too long um, just wanted to have a quick catch up see how everybody's doing and yeah um, have a little natter because that's what I do best <laughs> so yeah how is everybody how's your weekend going so far um, Today is Sunday. Now, I will try and get this uploaded today. If not, then you guys will see this tomorrow, which will be Monday, um, obviously. So, yeah, we're going on holiday um, for Easter. This has been, obviously, like in the making for like so long. Um, and, obviously, we've had to kind of, like, you know, save and pay for it bit by bit and stuff like that um for us it's um we're going to france we've never actually been to france before so we're going for the easter holidays we're just going for a week um and yeah this is basically my pack with me video so at the moment i'm making a right mess of it because obviously because i've never been to france i don't know what i'm taking um well i don't know what to take now i've kind of like checked with the weather and stuff like that so i know that it's going to be quite warm but not warm enough for things like shorts and stuff like that so i'm not taking any shorts <laughs> mean a pair of shorts Ooh. Mm, yeah not not just yet anyways um i wouldn't put you through that so the plan of action is is to obviously show you what i've packed so far um and yeah just have a little catch up with you um little body care haul as i promised in my last video i literally just picked up a few bits and pieces um obviously stuff that we're going to need to take with us um i think i spent about 30 pounds so it's not too bad as i said what i've done is, is i've done a list because believe it or not in fairness i'm not actually that like well traveled abroad um I've, we've only ever been to like a couple of places so it's just kind of like bits and pieces and if obviously i haven't got anything and i forget anything then it's kind of like um i could probably pick it up over there so yeah why are tripods such a, a pain in the backside so anyways yeah i'm not sure if you can apologies if obviously the sun is in my eyes from where you guys are like where i've got you positioned and stuff so if i look in the viewfinder i do apologize it's just so i can make sure that you can actually see us um excuse the hair i've literally just got out the bath and stuff um still got a bit of a bad back so i'm just kind of like well a bit of sciatica so i'm just kind of like trying to kind of like keep on top of it so it doesn't get any worse um so obviously i'll just quickly go through what i've bought from body care just a new brush a new paddle brush um because brushes in this house are like socks and I, you can never find them and um, then just obviously some lady bits don't want to get caught short and the last time i went to I think it was last year we went to tenerife let's just say i got caught short and the stuff that's over there isn't the same stuff that i use and 
yeah I'm a stickler for like I, I like to stick with the same products if that makes sense um I mean don't get me wrong I do like to try new stuff but yeah it's just you know what I'm just shutting up now a bit too much information anyways so some is that upside down just some Colgate this was like on offer like so I've just picked up a couple of um like a £1.49 pack so I've just picked two of them up because I'm only going to take one with us and then again just some more lady bits and then some wax strips 99 pence just because I'm going to do my own eyebrows I was going to get them professionally done but then just trying to save a little bit of money and I can do my own eyebrows just sometimes I get lazy and yeah I like other people to do them for us but and then just obviously some body watch <laughs> lippy neck get me if it wasn't screwed on and then just some new razors I've already opened them because I needed to use one today because I'm starting to look like chewbacca <laughs> I don't know about anybody else but I generally tend to if I know I'm going away I'll like not shave for like forever I know it's a little bit too much information but because I find that you get like a smoother shave if you like the longer you leave it so that's what I've done anyways then just some travel sick tablets these are for my little boy because he gets travel sick these are for Xander and then just some Calpol for the kids. This is like six plus because they're all over the edge of six now. And then just some shampoo and conditioner. And obviously these will go with us in the suitcase or in the bag. Basically we're taking like as little as possible um, because we are actually driving. Um, as I've said, like we are trying to obviously we've we've booked like we've done this holiday like on a budget um so we are driving and getting the train um plus also the fact that Jaden is autistic for those of you that don't know Jaden's my son um and he's very sensory very visual like everything needs to be um he needs to visually see it and know it so I've literally spent the last couple of months um like going through videos and stuff like that with him um and he's scared of flying and stuff so we've had to and he's scared of boats um so we've had to take the best obviously and easiest way that we know how and that's obviously driving and taking a train um i mean i even had to sit with him and obviously go through videos with the train and things like that um as i said youtube's been amazing in in that sense like it's actually helped so much um so yeah we have because he knows what's to come and obviously he's been able to see it and stuff like that he's okay with us going um otherwise we wouldn't have been able to go um or he wouldn't have been coming with us because yeah and it's just a shame because as i've explained in my previous videos this is kind of like the trip of a lifetime for us um we probably won't be able to do it again um there's six of us going um we are obviously we've booked two days at Disneyland as well um as I said we've done everything a bit by bit because we couldn't afford to do it all at once so this trip believe it or not has been planned literally just before Covid the first Covid lockdown kicked in um that's how long it took us to kind of like get to where we are now so fingers crossed um we just seem to be coming across like all these like issues and stuff which is like you know obviously there's um like over in France there's, there's 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 stuff going on there's demonstrations and things you know obviously people aren't happy with everything and stuff bless you know um I'm not going to get too much into that because obviously you know it's it's very political and I don't want to upset anybody's feelings and I don't want to kind of like upset anybody else so yeah I'm just kind of like gonna kind of <laughs> stay out of that one um but yeah I shall be aware there's demonstrations going on in France and then because it's the Easter holidays the ports of Dover and everything can now um struggling and yeah so it's all kind of like just one thing after another um we had issues with passports um so fingers crossed as I said this goes smoothly and yeah the next time I see you is hopefully we will be in France because I am going to bring you guys with us um so yeah fingers crossed as I said and hopefully I can get um I can take his with us and get as much footage as I can. Um 
so yeah as I said this will be my first time and my family's first time of seeing Paris um, and other bits and pieces so really excited really looking forward to it but as I said you know when you're just like holding your breath because it's like what else is going to go wrong can anything else go wrong and trust me it's me so yes it can um so we're kind of like just taking it daily and this is why i've left it this long before like saying anything to you guys about where we're going and stuff so yeah keep your fingers crossed for us so as i said packing i've now got sunspots in my eyes because of like the windows at the back of you guys um so i'm literally just bought packing cubes a year ago i got them off amazon i think they're about 10 pounds um, they are actually like really good so i'm literally just packing like what i can like bits and pieces um obviously i've done a list i've still got all the kids' stuff to pack and things um that'll take us forever if i had to film all of that so i literally just was going to do like what i'm going to be taking so because we are going by car we're trying to pack lightly so i've literally just underwear tops um there's about seven tops in there and then this is obviously trousers um a couple of jumpers because i'm going to stick a couple of hoodies in there and then i'm just going to take one coat because i think i'll only need like one coat you don't really need to like take that much and then i've got bits and pieces i'm gonna take some like gym stuff as well just in case like, i want to go for a walk or a little run or something um it just depends i mean the weather is supposed to be quite nice so that's a plus um it's going to be really warm and then obviously i've got things like medications in here so far now i know i've double checked and i'm allowed to take um like things like paracetamol ibuprofen stuff like that so yeah just some medication um where we're staying is actually really good because obviously we've rented a house just a two bedroomed um house and obviously it sleeps six people so that's like really good um we kind of budgeted for that as well um so then obviously they've got a washing machine and there's a cooker and everything there so all the amenities that we need are going to be there so it's just basically things like um sunglasses and take a couple of pairs of sunglasses i've got my cameras um obviously we will be taking things like um tablets and things for the kids so they've got stuff to watch you know maybe download some films netflix stuff and that so they can like watch stuff in the car and things on the way there because it is going to be a bit of a hike um and then yeah just things like obviously i'm gonna take a couple of hats for like sun and stuff i've got my adapters like my travel adapters because i don't want to get top caught short with them i do need i've only got three so i do need to pick up maybe another two um and then obviously i'm just going to take like two handbags with me um all the charger wires and stuff shoes we're not really going like clubbing or anything like that clubbing <laughs> i wish um so yeah shoe wise i'm probably just going to take like a couple of pairs of trainers um maybe two handbags then i can kind of like swap and change for like wherever we go because i think we're gonna like we're gonna try and go and see like a few um i want to see like the catacombs and then i want to obviously like see like um the eiffel tower and stuff um and then yeah it literally is just where our feet are gonna take us so makeup wise i think i'm probably just gonna take a little bit you know like maybe some like foundation obviously i'm taking my skincare like all the bath stuff like the washing stuff and that because i think what we've done is this is like what i've bought like here like bath wise and stuff like that i think it's going to be a little bit cheaper to kind of like take as much with us as we can and then it's literally just our food that we need to get when we get over there because obviously we're going to be self-catering um because it was like so expensive for us all to stay in a hotel so we're not staying in a hotel um and then yeah it's like obviously like skincare um uh, so um yeah so we're literally just obviously skincare at the moment i'm just using clarins um 
this is the deluxe double serum and then obviously I'm going to take my UV protection for my face and stuff um, I'm not sure if it's going to be like warm enough to kind of like so the kids need sunscreen and stuff but I'm going to pack some anyways just in case because you never know and we don't want to get caught short um, and then just some perfumes obviously Jo Malone um, loving this velvet rose and oud intense at the moment loving that at the moment um i also like the oh my god i can't remember what it's called they sent me a little tester when i bought it and i swear it's like the um oud and frankincense for some reason i'm gonna say frankenstein no frank is it frankincense and myrrh anyways it smells divine beautiful absolutely gorgeous scent and then just my um red temptation i believe this is the dupe for um francis and i'm not even gonna get because i know for a fact i will i'll just murder it so i'm saying no um and then obviously um firming serum and stuff like that just bits and pieces um pajamas like I think I'm just going to take three sets of pyjamas with me because I don't need to take a whole amount as I says there is a washing machine and stuff there so um, the good thing is is be able to do some washing and then it's literally just like bits and pieces I've dropped as I said I've got like this is my little notebook I tend to have so much like this is like I've had this forever and a day this is my notebook it's got all sorts in it I've now lost my list because I dropped the book um, as I was going past. I've literally just like trying to, well, where's that gone? Like bits and pieces. You know when you lose your page? Well, I've lost my page. Ah, right, there we go. No, there we go. That's my, can you see? Obviously, it's written in green, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But yeah, still to pack, obviously, um, bits and pieces. I tell you what else I'm taking as well, like a bite pen, um, you know, like an antihistamine pen kind of. So if you know the kids get a bit annoyed or anything like that, then yeah. Um, and soda creme, obviously. I'm taking my soda creme. This is magic cream. This stuff is. If you've got kids, you'll know. Um, that stuff's like amazing. So I'm just literally gonna like pack. Pop those. I'll tell you what I'm going to do right so with my perfumes with my perfumes I think I'm just going to pop them in this part of the bag um, or I'm just going to kind of like just so they don't in case they smash I mean I'll have nice smelling clothes and stuff but is anybody else paranoid about like when you're packing perfumes and stuff in fairness I did actually have like some more of these books and um, they've been well they've kind of gone missing and I don't know where they've gone so yeah um I'm trying to think obviously we've bought um a first aid kit and the AA pack that you have to obviously the travel pack and stuff like that um with like the breathalyzer kit and things in it I didn't realize I got having to go like over to France and stuff was like that you needed all this stuff um but obviously we've researched quite a bit of it and yeah what we need and stuff like that and then obviously passports and things um and I think to be fair that's more or less it sorry if you can hear voices in the background it is the holidays the kids are at home um and obviously just put that in there um yeah so you will hear voices and stuff in the background um as i said makeup wise i think i'm just going to take like a couple of makeup brushes um my setting spray at the moment i'm using the hydra matte fixing spray from revolution which is really really good and it's got hyaluronic acid in it um obviously like spectrum brush and i'll probably just take like my um like primer ysl and then just maybe like some this is what i'm using obviously blusher wise this is the new hydra bright um cream blush obviously by revolution i think it's a dupe for um charlotte tilbury's new one 
but this is actually really good and a little bit more affordable um, and then just some powder Charlotte Tilbury and then obviously my NARS um, tinted moisturizer because I don't generally tend to use foundation um, I'm one of these that likes to I like kind of like I don't wear a lot of makeup um, I don't wear it all the time I'm not wearing any today but when I do um, I like the like the, the the lighter feeling I don't like to feel that I'm like wearing too much makeup if that makes sense um, unless I'm going out which is very very rare and yeah and maybe just like a couple of lip pencils and stuff so that is obviously all of that you don't need to see that I mean this this is the makeup bag but obviously not all of that will be going with me so yeah um and then that is more or less it a couple of pairs of shoes as I said I'm gonna obviously there's a few bits and pieces in the washing machine that I need to get out um because I'm going to take um, obviously some joggers with us and stuff because I want to be comfortable. I'm not taking any jeans. Um, I don't really wear jeans. I own like one pair at the moment. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> and then I'm just kind of like to travel. I'm just going to wear like my Oog slippers because I think that these, I want to be comfortable. And as I said, it's a long drive um, for us because um, we live quite far away from the train station. So yeah. Um, and I think think obviously belt wise I'll probably it's maybe a good idea to take I'm just gonna take if I take a brown one and a black one um but I've mainly just got things like um cargo pants and take some cargos and then I've packed one skirt obviously my denim skirt um I don't know if I'll get to wear it or not and then I've just packed like um as I said I'm just I'm washing a couple of bits and pieces um like more comfortable items and stuff so I'm just waiting for them so there's those will go into the suitcase later on tonight um and then it's literally just packing my kids stuff um and like all the electrics and stuff because obviously I'm gonna take a hair dryer um hair straighteners and that's it because again I don't really like curl my hair because yeah I'm just lazy um like that <laughs> And in fairness, when I try to curl my hair, it never goes right. Um, and yeah, that is literally. I'm saying when we're gonna tra we're traveling like I'm trying to we're trying to travel as light as possible. Um, so it'll literally be one big suitcase for the kids. Um, obviously, I'm packing in this and what I can fit for my daughter, um, Lexi. I'll go in there as well. Um, and then we're just taking like two like whole dolls so that hopefully should be it and in fairness guys that's it oh and obviously passports um we don't need paperwork because obviously um they're not like checking for covid and stuff anymore which i've already checked um and then yeah like any like snacks and stuff that i want to take um with us because obviously like service stations and stuff cost a fortune and we are like obviously there's a few of us um and if we have to go into a service station to eat and stuff it's going to cost us blooming fortune um we'll have no spending money left so <laughs> the idea is is to get snacks and things and obviously drinks and stuff in the car for on the way there and on the way back um so yeah in a nutshell this is my pack with me um if you can see i don't want to this is like literally this is everything um well it's not everything obviously i'm gonna pack like a couple of more hats um like just for the kids and stuff and then for the kids it'll be things like um t-shirts and trackies and things like that obviously for those of you that obviously watch um, my videos and stuff you guys will already know because you'll have seen a lot of it that I've bought new for them and stuff just t-shirts and things like that that they needed and tracky bottoms and underwear and things so yeah that is it in a nut um that's my pack with my video hopefully as I said I've remembered everything and if I don't as I said you know do a list because then you can kind of like just go down and take off what you need and stuff as you go along um, I find it so much easier to do because as I said I'm not very well travelled um, like 
out of the UK and I don't always know what to kind of like bring and things so if I do like a list and stuff then it's a massive help um, and that's it yeah so wish me luck <laughs> fingers crossed hopefully the next time you see us we will be in France guys um, yeah so that's more or less it um, as I said, just trying to keep things to a limit and not spend as much money as yeah, um, I generally do. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing, well, the rest of the week. And to be fair, it's like Sunday now, isn't it? So there's not much of the weekend left, but how how's everybody's weekend been and stuff? You know, um, it's typical the weekend that we're kind of going away. The sun's gotten out now. I'm just obviously looking out the window. Um, and yeah, oh, the thing is, is I can't really go out because I've got that much plumbing stuff to do and to get sorted. Because obviously once I've packed mine, I've got to pack the kids and stuff. Um so that's it so i'm gonna end the video here because i'm not sure obviously how long i've been rambling on for years and um i don't want to bore you too much so i'm going to love yous and leave yous that seems to be my favorite saying lately doesn't it i'm gonna love yous and leave yous and stay safe take care i hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and i will see you all soon hopefully the next time you see us we will be in france um fingers crossed lots of love i'll see you soon guys also don't forget if you like the video please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already please wow <laughs> please subscribe to my channel as i said relative new channel just trying to get myself out there build my own little community um doing really well so far everybody that you know that that is in my youtube family so far is absolutely lovely and amazing i think you're all absolutely wonderful um and yeah um just yeah subscribe um and don't forget to hit the notification button because it'll let you know when i next upload so again i'm a love you and leave you and i'll see you all soon bye